Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back. Today we're going to dive deeper into optimizing your Google My Business posts. This is a local SEO strategy for beginners in order to drive more leads and sales through your Google My Business listing. If you're one of the thousands and thousands of local business owners that are currently not involved in any form of marketing activities, then Google My Business Post is a great, free, easy to use organic local marketing strategy that you can jump on right away in order to increase your online exposure and ultimately grow your local business online in 2020. All right, before we get started, feel free to subscribe to this channel and tap the bell icon and that way you'll be notified every week when we upload a new and practical video to help your local or small business thrive online. All right, that being said, let's dive into Google My Business posts. The first activity we want to talk about when it comes to optimizing your Google My Business posts is to post consistently. If you can post consistently, this will ultimately increase your post visibility. Posts last seven days and then they expire. They don't last very long. You want to post at minimum once per week, ideally once per day, five to seven days per week, depending on your schedule. You want to try and create a content calendar so that you can post on a regular basis. Google wants you to spend as much time as possible on their products and they reward you for this. If you're consistently active on Google My Business, you can see that from Google My Business Insights, there is a spike in online visibility every time a post is created. Therefore, be consistent and create a content calendar for creating posts as frequently as you can, as frequently as possible. The second activity of optimizing your Google My Business posts is to optimize images. Now, optimizing images is a very important part of the process. There's two steps to this. First, you want to make sure that your image size is optimal. It should be 1200 by 900 pixels. Now, before you upload a picture or image, head over to canva.com, type in the optimal size, 1200 by 900, and upload a photo or create an image from scratch using all the templates, elements, and text available for you on canva.com. Now, canva.com is an amazing free design tool that you can use to create your Google My Business post. Now, you can also create short videos for your Google My Business post. It's great to create and add a video once in a while, but we'll stick to images for now. Now, once you have created your image, click download. Once you have created and crafted your image, your photo, it's the ideal size and you've downloaded it. Now we want to geotag your image. So head over to tool.geoimgr.com and upload your image. Here we want to add your business coordinates. This tells Google that you are a local business and helps Google rank you in your local area because you've got coordinates of your local business. To get your business coordinates, head over to Google Maps, type in your business name and copy the coordinates from the search bar into latitude and longitude. Once you have done that, add your document name and image description. Be sure to add keywords around your product or services that you provide. For example, for me, I would add digital marketing taringa or web design taringa. Once you've added your keywords into the description and document name, click write EXIF tags and download your new image, your newly geotagged image. Head back to Google My Business Post and add your fully optimized image here. Okay, and the third and final activity of optimizing your Google My Business posts is to add keywords and copy to your description. Now, here we want to make sure that we have keywords embedded throughout our post description. If you do not know what keywords are or how to find them, click on the link above to learn more about keyword research. Here you can see I have added my detailed description with embedded keywords throughout. Now, my target keyword is digital marketing. As you can see, I have the keyword digital marketing in my description five times. This will help show my Google My Business listing on Google search when users type in a search phrase with the keyword digital marketing in it. Once you've added your description with keywords, make sure your keyword is in the first paragraph and add your full name at the bottom of the post. 
After this, you want to add relevant links in your description, the links that you think are going to be valuable to the post. Then finally, you want to add a learn more button and link this to one of your website pages. I tend to link to a new post page, contact page or home page on our website. Then click publish. A bonus to optimizing your posts is to share on social media or send a link to your email list. And those are the three activities to optimizing your Google My Business posts. There you have it guys, you now know how to optimize your Google My Business posts in order to drive more leads and sales through to your business, to grow your online exposure, and to essentially grow your local business online in 2020. Now remember to be consistent, you wanna post a minimum of one post per week. Uh, ideally you wanna post between five and seven per week, so create a content calendar so that you're consistent with your posts. And then you also wanna create compelling images and videos with canva.com. Also remember to geotag your images. Following this, we talked about uh, making sure your description has keywords embedded throughout your content so it's compelling, it's um, engaging, and it has your keywords so Google knows what kind of content you're posting about. And that's gonna help you rank and help you essentially increase your exposure and drive more leads and sales through to your business. All right, guys, thank you again for watching. If you got value out of this video, make sure you leave a comment down below, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you in next week's video.